Hey everyone, it's Kyan here from No BS Crypto. So today's video is going to be covering a new small cap coin. Now this coin does have the potential to 100x this bull run, I firmly believe, and also solves a very, very important problem in the cryptocurrency space. So if you're keen on that, please watch the rest of this video, like, subscribe, and comment, and give me some suggestions. Let's get into it. All right, so you want to know the drill. Please remember that this video is for educational purposes only. This is not financial advice, so please do not take anything I say as any financial advice. All right, so the coin is actually called Happy, and the the ticker is also happy so happy is an interesting coin i'm going to go into the specifics on how the coin works in a little bit but i just want to touch base on the coin market cap statistics for you so we can see here that it's on about 6700 watch lists which is actually pretty good for a coin this small it shows me there's a bit of interest in the coin already we can see here the price is at 70 dollars and that is quite a lot and some of you uh beginners are probably looking at that going oh it's too high for me it's a lot of money we're gonna go over that in a second. Uh, we can see here all the necessary links for Happy is listed. So we've got the Happy uh, website, we've got the community links, chat groups, and the white paper link here. We can see the low, the 24 hour low was $66 with a high of $74 and the contract address is here. Moving down a little bit more, we're gonna go into the important information as well. So the market cap in comparison to the volume. So we can see it's about an eight to one ratio with the market cap being around about 13 million and the volume about uh, 1.3 million. So that tells me that there is, again, a lot of interest in the coin. People are regularly trading the coin. And it's just an overall great indicator to me that this coin has uh, interest in a lot of people. So uh, as you can see, the circulating supply is only 180,000 tokens, okay, out of a max supply of 1 million. So touching base on that high price point, uh, this tells me that the coin at $70 is actually quite a good buy. Um, I suspect as soon as these coins are kind of all bought up, which wouldn't take very long, this coin would be in the um, thousands of dollars. So uh, at a price point of $70, this coin is actually valued pretty good. But I'm going to tell you later in the video, the best price to buy this coin at. So moving down the page, let's have a quick look at the chart. So the chart here indicates to me what I see pretty regularly on these coins. We've seen a massive launch here at the start and an accumulation phase as well as another launch up to about $200, which is its all time high. We've seen uh, consecutive one and a half week periods here where the coin is kind of stabilizing before it's been launched off again and another uh, lower low has been created. So Bitcoin being where it is, and since all these sort of coins do follow Bitcoin, uh, we are in a bit of a dip again at the moment. So I do suspect this coin to be falling down here to uh, not its all-time low, but definitely the low since it's actually been trading. That would be a great point to buy the coin at as well. So moving back up the page here, we're going to go into the market. So where can we actually purchase Happy? And we can see here it's on some centralized exchanges, gate.io, for example, and we've got the traded prices here. So one thing I want to note is uh, Uniswap would probably be the best place to buy this coin in my opinion. Um, personally, I don't like gate.io and the reason why I say it's the best place to buy it is because I would normally say PancakeSwap since the fees are a lot lower than Uniswap. But if we have a look through here, we can see that the volume in the last 24 hours is only $438. So for me, that is telling me that it's not actually listed on there properly yet and there isn't much traction going. So I wouldn't use PancakeSwap for obvious reasons. Stick to Uniswap, but if you do wanna use gate.io, please feel free. The volume is like $1.2 million. So I just wanna move back onto the overview here and look at the chart again. I wanna just tell you when the coin was first established, just so you have a very good idea of what we're actually looking at. So the coin was first established on the 10th of March this year. So again, a very, very new coin, uh, all the potential in the world to grow, especially in the current market. I mean, new coins have, uh, granted, they have to be vetted and you have to know what you're looking at. They do have a lot more potential than the older coins when you think about it. The older coins kind of been true, tried and tested. They're on the exchanges already. The room to grow isn't as large as some of the smaller coins, which is what we want. We want to be creating wealth and not preserving them. So this to me is uh, is great. It's a, it's a very, very new coin. All right, so now it's time to dig into what actually happy is. So we're going to go onto the website here and I'm going to read you some of the notes I've taken down upon my research on happy. Okay, so you can click here. I'm just going to jump on here. So uh, happy is an on-chain cybersecurity protocol that creates trustless oracles. All right, so what this actually means is that it works directly off a blockchain 
boosting the security lay layer of the specific network, providing with the necessary smart contracts to prevent many types of scams. So Happy is a cross-chain Oracle, meaning that it can operate across different blockchains. So this allows for a few things. This allows for easier use, larger data collections, and an overall greater product. All right, so this again, as I mentioned, can be used for centralized and decentralized uh, products alike. All right, so for this next part, I'm gonna move over to the Hacken website here. So I'm gonna explain to you what Hacken actually is and why it's important in Happy. So as Happy is completely decentralized, centralized the parent company which is called Hacken Foundation actually are in control and manage the promotional side of Happy and also make sure that is it is a scalable product okay because it's decentralized they need a team behind it that's kind of there tweaking a few things and making sure that the product is actually growing and creating the right partnerships. So what actually is the Hacken Foundation? Now, as you can see here, the Hacken Foundation is a group of companies united by the common vision of making the world a safer place. So we can see here 362 corporate clients, 58 strategic partners, and 11 projects, uh, Happy being one of them, that has been launched um, on the Hacken Foundation website and um, as a product of their overall goal. So I think now let's head back over here and I'm gonna put a pop-up on the screen now and I'm gonna explain to you how Happy actually works. Okay, so another pop-up on the screen is gonna look a little bit confusing to you, but if you are more advanced in this space, you're gonna be able to follow pretty well, but I hope I can explain it a little bit better. So let's say that you're attempting to make a transaction on Uniswap from Aave to ETH. So Happy, which is an Oracle itself, detects whether the smart contracts that have been used on Uniswap have actually had audits and if they're valid. So these audits are conducted from specific auditors like Quantstamp, for example, or the Hacken Foundation as well, that ensure that the smart contract is working correctly and has no errors in coding, design issues, or any other form of vulnerabilities. So when I say smart contract, the smart contract refers to any which way you interact with that specific protocol. So in this example, uh, it's trading AVE to ETH. So Happy will then contact the data providers used by Uniswap to verify the information is correct. So this could be things like trading prices, all right? So then what Happy will actually do is collect a series of the most reliable, efficient, and correct data providers and offer the selection to the token holders of Happy. So then what Happy will actually do is it'll gain a consensus on a particular data provider from the existing token holders of Happy. So this consensus will allow the relevant token holders to make a decision based on the DAO selection of data providers. So this means that it will still remain decentralized. All right, so this form of unison is called governance and it's widely used by decentralized communities to decide on important decisions for a token. So to elaborate and make a bit more sense on what I just said, so Happy's DAO, which means Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which is pretty much another way of saying Happy's Decentralized Series of Coding, will pick out the best and main data provider based on this information through an internal voting process on Happy. And it's gonna use this for token pricing, volume, liquidity data, and uh, many more features. So this will then become the main data provider for Uniswap via the Ethereum blockchain. And this data provider will make notes of the suspicious addresses ever transacting on the platform. It's pretty cool. So from here, any suspicious addresses located via API or application programming interface, or in other words, where the uh, transactions are happening themselves, coming into the Ethereum blockchain via Uniswap will be banned either temporarily or permanently and anywhere in between that really. So once all this information has been gathered, the auditor of the smart contract, so let's just stay with uh, Quantstamp, for example, uh, they will upload the data collected from the audit onto the newly decided data provider's database, and then the information will be transferred to the Happy smart contract for the next transaction, okay? To sum it all up, so Happy will then confirm and collate this information for the user in seconds to create a safe and secure means of transfer. So this will be notified to the user either by a warning, limiting the transaction amount, or, uh, or by completely stopping the transaction altogether. So this is fantastic. Happy is really doing it all in the one place. So this also goes for the many different blockchains and uh, platforms that Happy will be linked and synced to. For example, they're gonna be on Polkadot, 
um, maybe even Ethereum, they're going to be on these different networks. So once they all start coming out and using each other, Happy will then be able to talk across a different decentralized exchanges. So if someone does go on there and does steal your money, for example, it will be marked as suspicious and blocked on both ends and will be able to potentially save all if not some of your money. I mean, it's better than nothing at the moment. You know what I mean? So um, I think the next part we're going to go into is what is the upside of the coin with the current price? All right, so what is the main upside of Happy and what is the kind of price uh, got to do with the correlation of that? So at the moment, with being such a small market cap and Happy being built around one of the main features we kind of need in the space being security, and I think that is one of the most important, if not the most important aspects of why we actually use decentralized uh, platforms. Uh, I think this crypto actually solves a lot of problems um, in that field. And I don't really think that there is necessarily another cryptocurrency out there that is doing the exact same thing. Now, you can correct me if I'm wrong in saying that, but from what I have done in my research, I could not find another cryptocurrency that exactly hones in on what Happy is doing here in a similar process. But I think a question is, why can't oracles that are already established, for example, Chainlink, just implement something like this. I mean, they have the partnerships already, they have the platform, they have the people to do this. And my answer to you is, I don't really know. Um, it's as simple as that. It's something that can possibly be done on Chainlink in the future. And that's dependent on a few things. I mean, Chainlink will have to weigh up the odds and the market share by the time they decide to do something like this. Uh, I think if Happy does get established this bull run and come the next bull market, they do have a lot more partnerships than what they already do. And keep in mind, they actually do have a fair few partnerships already, but they don't have the capacity at the moment to be able to just go out there and have no sort of problems or competition. So I think that's a very, very important thing to note is that Happy will have to get off the ground and actually prove that it is the number one decentralized Oracle that will provide this security to many of these blockchains and platforms. Now, in also saying that, I don't think this is gonna have an implication this bull run. I think this coin does have the potential to you know, 50, 100X. I see this more being a problem going into the next bull market. And this is completely dependent on how many partnerships Happy does accumulate and how quickly they actually grow and market themselves. I just thought I'd put that out there just because I couldn't really find anything to kind of say, well, Happy could definitely 100X, 200X, 300X in the case of comparing it with a larger coin. I think the largest sort of Oracle you can compare it to is Chainlink, but Chainlink doesn't yet do this. All right, so let's move on to the website here. So as we can see, we've got pretty simple design. We can see the Telegram, Twitter, and the Medium page linked a link to the happy token and a bit more about the token itself. We can see if we move down, I'm happy on-chain cybersecurity protocol with trustless oracles preventing hacker attacks. All right, so moving down, we can see data plus machine learning plus oracle plus Dao equals first security oracle. Again, simple design. They tell you here pretty much the exact same thing I have told you. Centralized exchanges protected from accepting stolen funds. So like I said, it can be used on centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Binance. And if they do ever get a partnership with either of these two powerhouses, this coin is gonna be solidified in this space, no questions asked. So let's move down here. So again, DEXs cut back on suspicious addresses, crypto traders warn on high risk coins, which is fantastic. So it'll actually warn a trader if they are going to import a, an address from a coin that they're interested in. If, that is a, if it's a mimic address and it is uh, illegitimate, uh, for example, if a coin has, say, a uh, very low market cap like Happy itself, it'll locate that that potential address is a risk and it will let you know and completely block the transaction, as I mentioned, or give you a price uh, limit. So moving down, I'm happy. I'm designed for the community to fight attackers. And that's pretty much it. You'll be happy. So uh, as you can see up here, it's elaborated by Donna Mara, the white hat hacker supported by the hacken foundation as i've mentioned so who is donna mara so donna mara is i believe kind of like the alias of the person behind the uh, control of happy itself so as i mentioned hacken foundation do support and do help uh happy in its marketing and everything like that but donna mara is kind of the face of happy and it kind of goes with the whole anonymous sort of mask here uh, behind happy we don't know who this person is as far as the research I've done. And it's it's kind of cool. Like if you have a look down here, 
This person does say some pretty funny things on Twitter and they are involved with the project and they do retweet. I think it kind of goes in with the theme of what happy is. And uh, as mentioned on the, on the page here, they are a white hat hacker, meaning that they are a hacker, but the white hat means that they hack in the best interests of the people, kind of like anonymous, but a little bit less full on, I would say. So uh, that's pretty much the main page of Happy. If we click the Happy token here, so we can see Meet Happy. So the key utility function of Happy is to circularize between data providers and security oracles. So this here gives you a bit of information that I've already gone over with you in the previous slide. Uh, they give you a token uh, distribution here. So it tells you a little bit about it. It's not too important. Uh, they actually go over it a bit more in the tokenomics, which I'll go over briefly. And just down here, token sale details. Again, not interested, you'll be happy. That's pretty much it. So let's just go back up here and go into the read tokenomics. So this is pretty much where we're gonna be able to read all about the tokenomics of Happy and actually find out when vesting periods are up and a bit more about the, the, like the private sale, public rounds, stuff like that. Uh, the unlock schedule, if you're interested in that, give it a read, it's definitely a good read but it's nothing that I need to really mention to you in this video. So one thing I do wanna gloss over that I think is important that isn't actually on the Happy page itself is the Hacken Foundation does allow you to actually farm Happy on their website. So this is just hackenfoundation.com. And if you just scroll down, you'll be able to farm Happy. And as we can see here, the annual yield at the moment is up to 44.28% which is actually really, really good. So this is uh, a pretty cool little feature that isn't otherwise known, um, just going through the Happy website. All right, so now it's time for the social media overview of Happy. So we're here on the Twitter page, and as we can see, they have 21.2K followers, which is pretty good for a coin this small. Again, shows me there's interest in this coin. So let's just go down the page here and have a look at how Happy's traveling. So one thing I want to point out is Happy doesn't really communicate as well as what I would like them to do on Twitter. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing as the coin is very small, but I truly believe the smaller you are, the more regular you should be posting. You're wanting to get the people involved in the project and you want to get the exposure. If a coin isn't posting as much as what I think they should be, that is not necessarily a red flag, but it definitely isn't something I would be overly happy with investing in. Now in saying that, Happy still does post every two to three days on average, which is still good. They do reply to a few comments and stuff like that. But I do think that in the end, they need to be posting a lot more than what they currently do. Now, one thing I've found on the Twitter page is their roadmap. Now, this is actually really, really good. So uh, they have a roadmap going right into quarter one of 2022, which I'm really, really happy about. That gives you a good breakdown of what's happening, what's coming up and what to expect. Okay, so that is a big green flag there. So moving across to the Medium page here. So we can see if I just go back, sorry we can see here that the Medium page does list sort of a very, very basic overview of Happy. And it's not something that I'm overly happy about. I think they could have done a bit better job on the Medium page, but again, it's really only run by that one person, Donamara, and the reads actually aren't that bad on these articles. And one thing I wanted to point out is that Happy actually has their white paper listed on their Medium page. So if we just go back here and we go into white paper, it's actually part of the tokenomics. So this is pretty much their white paper, okay? Now, as you can see, it is a bit of a read. It does kind of detail everything that's happening. I would have liked an official white paper for Happy, but this is enough. This tells me that they do give you an understanding of it. And this is kind of where I base a lot of my information off in uh, making this video. So let's head over to the Telegram now and have a look. So as you can see, they have almost 20,000 members. So that's pretty good. Again, I'm gonna repeat myself again. So that is a great indication that there is a lot of interest in the coin. One thing I wanna point out is they do have almost the same amount of members in their Telegram as they do in Twitter. Now, some smaller coins do have this, so I'm not gonna mark them down for this. It would normally be a bit of a red flag for me uh, in the sense that that would mean there's a fair few bots in the Telegram. Now, again, that doesn't really matter whether they're there intentionally or unintentionally. I would still definitely sign up to the Telegram for those announcements. All right, so who's actually backing Happy? Now, I'm gonna put a pop-up on the screen now to the three investors that I have found so far. So Happy is actually backed by GBV Capital, um, which is a notable investor. Um, also SMO Capital, who do have a quite good taste of some good projects themselves. And of course, Hacken. So digging a bit deeper, you'll be able to find that these two main investors, so that's GBV and SMO, are actually a part of the Hacken Foundation partnerships. 
So they actually have easier access to any of the projects the Hacken Foundation create and launch. So if we go back onto the Hacken Foundation uh, webpage here and we just scroll down, so we can see here that the, join the top cybersecurity products at the very beginning. So become a Hacken Foundation partner to get access to the most innovative cybersecurity projects. So you can become a partner, obviously, if you are an established project, but we can see GBV and SMO here. So these two obviously are a partner already. So they do have interest in the Hacken Foundation and also any sort of project that comes out of the Hacken Foundation. That doesn't, however, mean that they are inclined to actually invest in Happy. So this may seem like a bit of a drawback and may sort of set you back a little bit in investing in Happy. But just remember, they still have to put down that capital to invest in Happy. So as I've mentioned, there is no team necessarily behind Happy other than that one person, Don Amara, that I've spoken about and shown you the Twitter profile of. However, there is the team that is behind the Hacken Foundation that do put their time in marketing behind this. And this is what I found here on LinkedIn. So we can see that they do list quite a substantial team here. This isn't all their team members as well, but the one thing that I do wanna make note of is that they don't all list their names. As we can see here, LinkedIn member, and when you go to click into it, there isn't actually anything that comes up. I have actually found out the CEO's name. Uh, I can't, I'm gonna butcher it if I try to pronounce it. It's uh, Daima Bodderin. He's actually got a quite a, uh, an impressive list of uh, qualifications. I do think he is a great CEO. Uh, as you can tell, he's actually created quite a few projects Happy being one of them, and his overall mission is actually to create a safer decentralized space. So in saying that, again, as I mentioned in that little paragraph at the start of the video, Hacken themselves is an auditor, and at that, they're actually the number one cybersecurity auditor for uh, decentralized exchanges. So they do have to have a fairly reputable reputation to actually be able to say that. And they are. So he's built this company. Uh, obviously, he's one of the co-founders, but he's built this company pretty much with a small team of people and he's been doing it for a long time. So that gives me great confidence that there is the necessary people behind this product to push it where it needs to go. And to kind of prove that to you, just on this page here, if we scroll down, we're able to see the clients involved in just the Hacken Foundation themselves. So we've got some pretty big names here, PokerStarter, KickPad, VeChain. Uh, even coin market cap and coin gecko and we've got all these smaller ones down here so if we go down even further partnerships and corporations so happy is listed here so again this is actually a really great indication that they do have the foundation no pun intended behind happy to be able to actually get this out where it needs to be so before i move into the important part here and actually tell you what the best price to buy happy is I wanna make an important note and give you my final thoughts on Happy. So I think Happy is really hitting a nice niche in the market. Like the last coin I covered, it's a really, really great project. And if it actually builds up enough momentum through Twitter, Telegram, and partnerships with the help of the Hacken Foundation, I do believe this coin does have the potential to actually 100X this bull run. And most definitely within the next bull run, hopefully it's gained the partnerships and the support from the Hacken Foundation to actually grow into the coin it needs to be. And we see it actually take off, being on more exchanges and actually having the implementations already there. And once a few projects do understand the value that Happy actually brings, then I think this coin will be a great investment and a great investment to dollar cost average into throughout the whole bear market. With that being said, I think the, the chart here speaks for itself. I mean, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this price is actually quite a good price to buy in at. I do see that price moving down maybe to the $50 mark again. So down at this level here, as we are in a weekend at the moment, uh, and we are seeing some lower price action, although I would be dollar cost averaging into it now, I wouldn't be putting your largest kind of pot in at the moment, uh, as we have seen uh, a, a lower point here in, in the last few days. Now I would show you the golden price as I normally do on TradingView. However, this coin is only uh, trading at the moment on the ETH pair. So I can't actually show you and it's not an accurate representation of the price, but I think this is a good overview and a good understanding to know that even at the current price, I mean, it is still lower than the previous lower low back a few weeks ago. 
So with that being said, guys, I think that covers Happy uh, as a very, very basic overview. I hope you did understand how it actually works in the explanation I did give before. If you have stayed this long, please like and subscribe and also stay tuned for more videos. And let me know in the comments if you do have a coin that you want me to cover because I'll try my hardest to cover it. I do post these videos once a week, every Sunday at this stage. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.